hi guys you're welcome thanks for clicking my name is Bukumi so why do Muslims say alarm do they lie after sneezing sorry if I'm not pronouncing it well by Dr. Mohamed Salah let's check it out a sister Shifa from uh, Oman and she also asked about uh, sneezing why is it prescribed to tell the person who sneezed Yarhamukumullah or why is it prescribed for him to say Alhamdulillah? In fact, first of all, let me quote the hadith which is collected by Imam al Bukhari in the cigar, in which the Prophet said, In Allah yuhibbu al Aitas wa yakrahu at tathaub. Allah likes sneezing and he dislikes yawning. Yawning is from Satan. When the person yawns, Satan laughs at him and he mocks him. When the person sneezes, it causes disturbance in all the body parts and organs. You mentioned also the heart. So the person, as in the hadith of Sahih Imam al Bukhari, if the person sneezes, he should say, Alhamdulillah. You got this from Allah. When you say, Alhamdulillah, thank you, Allah, he said, then, Haqqun ala kulli Muslim in Samiahu, it becomes do on every Muslim who heard them saying Alhamdulillah upon sneezing to say Yarhamukumullah. Sahil Imam Muslim among the rights of a Muslim upon another Muslim is Tashmeetul Atus. The Shamata in Arabic is a very interesting term. A Shamata is to show, to show joy and delight at the grief of another. So what does it mean to do Tashmeet to your Muslim brother? A shaitan, a shaitan who likes yawning and dislikes sneezing because sneezing f uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and yawning is from a shaitan. When the person who sneezes says, Alhamdulillah, then you say to him, Yarhamukumullah, so he, it's a double benefit that teases and bothers the shaitan a lot. So at Tashmeet, in this case, is to show the joy and the light at what bothers a shaitan and drives him crazy. There are a lot of medical researches with regards to what happens to the person when he sneezes and what happens to the heart, it stops and all of that. The hikmah from the religious point of view is that the Prophet says, Allah likes that. Allah likes when a person sneezes to say Alhamdulillah. So we like to say it for this reason. And that's why when the Prophet ﷺ was sitting in the masjid once, two companions sneezed. One of them, the Prophet ﷺ turned to him and said, Yarhamukumullah. And he neglected the other one. The one who was neglected was kind of upset. He came to the Prophet ﷺ and said, Ya Rasulullah, why did you do tashmeet to him and you neglected me? He said, because he said, Alhamdulillah, when he sneezed. And you say that not. So it's only prescribed to say, Yarhamukumullah, may Allah have mercy on you, to the person who says, Alhamdulillah, upon sneezing. If he does not say it, we can still recommend for him to say it so that we can pray for him and say, Yarhamukumullah. Oh, wow. So that means it's very important to say the word, Alam, okay, Alhamdulillah. It's very important to say the word, why, why you sneeze. But what if, if uh, like you said, you said yawning is from the devil, or I don't know whether I misquoted his words. So if somebody yawns, what do you say to the person? Because since sneezing, when you sneeze, this is what you say to the person. And when you don't, you know, tell the person it's why the person sneezes, does he has? Is there a repercussion or is something wrong? Because yes, he said the meaning is oh, God allow you to sneeze, so we give thanks to God. Well. I think sometimes you can say it quietly. What of if you say it quietly or or what of if you are alone and you sneeze and nobody's around you? Do you tell yourself alarm do lie or you just overlook it or can you say it from your heart? But this was a beautiful one per se because bro, this is the first time I'm hearing this that there's a word you have to say when someone sneeze. Amazing. I'm learning a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>